Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 4th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the SP 500. So, most of the indices fell quite significantly today, mainly due to the uh, jobless claims. Uh, actually, good news is uh, bad for the market at this current stage, uh, mainly to the fact that the market is um, afraid that the Fed will basically change its monetary policies, which is uh, fairly unlikely at this current stage, as the Fed has been pointing to for quite some time. And inflation, yes, there is inflation, but at this current stage, it is... Um, it's not something that the Fed will basically change its monetary policy due to inflation. That is very unlikely at this at this current stage, and therefore cheap money will basically continue to go into these markets, and and they will start to increase. This market only cares about liquidity, and as long as uh, the Fed is uh, is sponsoring that liquidity, then this will mostly go higher. But We'll eventually see pullbacks. They are quite common. You can see it here, 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 and so on and so on. So they do happen. And the pullbacks, as we saw today, they do happen as well. And doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. If we look at technical indicators for uh, the S&P 500, we can see that the, stochastic, um, the MACD is technically flat. It's right on the signal line. Stochastic is becoming bearish. The CCI is still in positive territory, but it's becoming bearish. And the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum is definitely the downside, probably because we fell quite significantly today and then bounced from the middle of the bullish band. So it ended up pretty much where we have been trending for the last week and a half at least. So at this moment, at this point, if you manage to take out these previous highs here. Of give or take uh, 4,232, 4, then we'll probably go to and look at the target of 4,400. Break below the 50, that could open the door to the 4,000 level. So let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones also bounced from the middle of the bullish band and ended up where we basically have been trending for the last uh, week and a half. If you look at technical indicators, they are also, uh, well, MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CCI is becoming uh, becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat. So, well, not a lot of movement here. We need to basically take out these previous highs here in order to go higher. Then break below the 50, that could open the door to 32,500. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is getting battered, mainly due to inflation news. So there's inflation news and more inflation news and... Uh, that is spooking the market constantly. So uh, we do have a trend line that we can, that we need to break above. We uh, did fall towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, bounced a little bit, but I think there is probably more downside to the Nasdaq than there are to the other, to the other indices. Um, if you look at technical indicators, they are fairly more they're more bearish than they are for the S and P five hundred and the Dow Jones. So the, the MACD is about to cross the signal line. The Castic has crossed the signal line. CCI is becoming very bearish, and so is the RSI. So momentum here definitely looks like is to the downside. But if we manage to if we manage to break uh, beneath the, the middle of the bullish band, then we could see a drop to thirteen thousand give or take, and we're not that far away from the two hundred moving average. To the upside, we need to break above this line in order to go 40,000. And after that, we are probably going to 40,500 and then 15,000. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX also bounced it from basically the 20 exponential to the middle of the bullish band. We got really close to it and then just bang to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is still bullish, and the RSI is technically flat at this point. It looks like we are heading towards 16,000 within the end of June. That's probably where we're going to uh, at this current stage. Um, if we drop below the 20 exponential, then we have the 50 right underneath here. I give or take 15,242. 
15,000 will probably be the very floor of this market. So let's look at the UK 100. UK 100 fell towards the 20 exponential and then bounced quite significantly. So both the 50 and the 20 are, well, of interest to, to buyers, to, to say the least. We fell towards the 50 here, fell towards the 50 here, and both cases it rallied significantly. And also when we drop towards the 20 exponential, it also bounces. But it doesn't mean that we're out of the woods yet. This could continue falling towards the 50 moving average down towards the 17, uh, 7,000 or below that, 6,936 at this current stage. Technical indicators there are all um, turning around at this point. MACD is flat, the stochastic is also flat. CCI is becoming bearish and the RSI is bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the China 50. So this continues to get battered um, after this massive rally it has gradually grinded towards the 20 exponential which could offer support but the 50 is probably where we're heading to or the middle of the bullish band so within this area here we probably should see this a turn around and head back toward uh, uh, give or take 18,000 and then 19,000 and, and beyond that this has been really battered in 2021 after its all-time highs here, it has basically gone all the way down to the 200 moving average and then tried to rally and now we're getting bashed again. Technically, again, we can see the MACD is still above the signal line, but it is turning around. The stochastic is bearish, the CCI is becoming bearish, still bullish in the territory, and the RSI is bearish at this point. So, hope you find this helpful and you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck and thank you very much.